Hello and welcome to this course on PHP. So before we go any further, we have to know what PHP is. So what is PHP? PHP stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. So as you can see here, the PHP is still in the definition as well. So this is called a recursive acronym where you still use the full PHP in there. It used to be called a uh, personal homepage at one point when the creator designed it to manage his own personal page at home. Uh, personal web pages at home, but as uh, more uh, uh, programmers came in, they changed it to PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. So it's a server-side scripting language, mean, meaning it runs on a server and not on the client's browser, like uh, HTML does or JavaScript. JavaScript and HTML run on the browser, but this one runs on the server, and by the time information gets to the browser, PHP is no longer there or active. So it's a script and not a program. So the differences between a script and a program are that a script responds to events only. So let's say a user clicks a button, uh, this PHP will respond and run. And then it performs the instructions from top to bottom. It will start from the top of the page, run the instructions up to the bottom. By the time it gets to the bottom, that's the end. So it leaves very little room for user interaction because the script just continues running up to the bottom. Whereas a program can still run even when not responding to events. And then it jumps around from one code point to another, you know, just executing what the user is clicking. And it needs a lot of user interaction, which is the total opposite of a script. So like this software right here, the paint is a, a an example of a program because even when I'm not interacting with it, it's still on. And when I click to do something, that's when it runs and executes this part of the code, which describes what to do here. I can click anything here and that will respond. So this is a program and the script doesn't run like this. It will run once and exit. So it's not compiled either. Programs like this, uh, Windows programs are compiled, which means uh, after you type your code, it's interpreted into a machine language so that it can run as a machine code. But what happens with PHP is that the interpretation happens in real time right there and then. So it's designed for use with HTML. So this is like a boost for your HTML. So your HTML can do more, some some more stuff, you know, like add dynamic data to your HTML. For example, if uh, a user logs on uh, to your website, they'll see their, their information. The name, for example, will change depending on who's logged on. The profile image will change and so on because uh, that's what is called dynamic data. So this is achieved using PHP. Okay, and by the way, what you need to learn uh, before learning PHP is HTML. You have to be at least have a basic knowledge on HTML and CSS. This is very important because PHP outputs uh, HTML and CSS. So if you don't know these technologies, it will be very difficult to get any results from PHP. So you don't have to be an expert in HTML or uh, CSS. You just need to know enough to create a basic page, then uh, you can jump on to learning PHP. So if you don't know any HTML and CSS, please check out the HTML and uh, CSS videos before you can attempt to learn PHP. HTML and CSS don't take long to learn. You can learn these in a single day. So uh, go do that first if you haven't yet. So in the next video, we'll talk about why you should choose PHP. So I'll see you there.